thing. You have to save her. Save her? <laughs> You're kidding, right? Why would we? She was gunning for the Moonstone right from the start. At least now, she won't get in the way of reviving the goddess and sending Kataro home. You know, I think you're missing the litter box for the droppings. Hey, we've got two things to worry about. An ugly monkey and the Moonstone. Is the witch on that list? No! Now help us! Fine. But hurry up and choose your transportation. You've got a monkey to pursue. All right, I'll pick. to all our guests for that completely inappropriate comment. I wasn't talking about... Kujiro had reached the asteroid belt. But that's strange. Isn't it supposed to be between Mars and Jupiter? Hello, Land of Dreams! Let's be a little flexible here, all right? Oh, would you just surrender already? Surrender this! <laughs> There are no ups and downs in outer space, only gravity. You might even say there's no such thing as left, right, forward. the asteroid belt. But that's strange. Isn't it supposed to be between Mars and Jupiter? Hello, Land of Dreams! Let's be a little flexible here, all right? Oh, would you just surrender already? Surrender this! <laughs> uh, there are no ups and downs in outer space, only gravity. You might even say there's no such thing as left, right, forwards, backwards, yesterday, or indeed tomorrow. It's squid! Martian squid! Uh, no, no. Octopi are from Mars, but squid are from Venus. Welcome to the warp zone. When Kutaro and Picarina were done warping, they re-emerged in a spaceship graveyard. These marvels of science and intellect had been... Ew! Uh, more Martian and Venus. Nugent. Uh, even their name is ugly. They're lost in space. Have some compassion. I'd get lost too if I was that gross. The space-time continuum probably bent just to avoid touching them. are encouraged to sit upside down as required to follow along. Uh-huh. Warp engaged! What? We have to do the gravity thing while warping? Man, I hate space! This asteroid belt shall become the belt of your graves! <laughs> Too scared to stand and fight. Okay, we're almost caught up.
Chip. It's game time. <laughs> I weary of dealing with you, simpletons. The monkey gloves are off. Look, Taro. The stars are on our side. Watch that signature, Aries. Someone's locked on to you. It's okay, Scorpio. Let that aggression out. Scorpio's rocking the scissors, too. Circles, Cancer. Heads up, Virgo! Explosive developments await. Now's your chance, Leo. Go ahead and pounce that boy. It's okay, Scorpio. Let that aggression out. Scorpio's rocking the scissors, too. Developments await. Now's your chance, Leo. Go ahead and pounce that boy. Sagittarius, because he's about to fall for your arrows. You don't.
Picarina! Thanks, Daddy. You saved our butts. Butts is not princess talk, young lady. Look at you, my only child, a pixie. Don't worry, I love you all the same. It was the moon bear. Bad game. monkey! He cast a spell? I told you to let the moon work out its own kinks! But did you listen? Okay, no, but I was I worried about you. the moon goddess. She's always been so no. sweet to me, you know? Yes, well, she had it coming. I warned her, beware the dark side of the moon! Never turn your back on the shadows! But no, I want to balance. Light and dark and equal shares. Yeah, that works. But Daddy, me and Kataro have worked so hard to find the Moonstone Shard. Galactic issues, sweetie. Not fair to pin it on one kid. I know, I know. Tell you what, I'll go have a word with this moon bear. Rough him up a little, then save the goddess. How's that? Sound good? Oh, Daddy, that would be solar. Yeehaw! <laughs> Ew, ow, oh, ah, oh. <laughs> Daddy? We'll find another moon, honey. <laughs> You're no help. Fine, we'll take care of it. Come on, Kataro. And so, with newfound courage, Kutaro and Picarina descended from the brilliant center of the galaxy to once again face the dark terrors of the moon. With the help of Calibrus, Kutaro defeated the menace and saved the souls of a lucky few. Well done! Kutaro had finally obtained the last piece of the Moonstone, but did he stand any chance against a tyrant more powerful than the Sun himself? Would peace be restored? Or would Kutaro be ripped to pieces? Now back to Kutaro's tale. Well, Kutaro's relunization kicked off with a horrific sight. The beautiful Castle Waxwain had been bound curtain and keep by Castle Grizzlestein's vile vines anchored to the moon like a swan in the death squeeze of a thousand vipers. Even now, an army of grubs was making ready to storm the goddess's argent palace and bring it down. Thanks to their convenient solar staircase, Kutaro and Picarina were back on moon soil. Oh no! The White Castle! They won't be able to hold out much longer! We need to revive the goddess, like, right now! So, uh, any ideas? Do you think we need some kind of lunar super glue? The only thing I like better than power is more power! Not even the sun can touch me now. But it's not enough. I need more. Give me all the power! Kutaro! You have to! <laughs> Are you two all right? Ying Yang! Did you procure the last Moonstone Shard? Of course. But I wish these things came with an instruction manual. What for? It'd be written in your language anyway. Just get to the palace before it collapses. It's our only hope. The moment of truth was upon them. Would they manage to unhumpty dumptify the Moonstone? And would the goddess really return to them? Kutaro and Picarina had reached the roots of the vile vines entangling the White Castle. We're just going to have to trust Ying Yang and get inside the White Castle. Cut a path up along that gas coming out of the vine. The duo climbed as fast as they could. They had to reach Waxwain before it collapsed. Oh! The monstrous vines blocked Kutaro's every move as if they had a will of their own. 